I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. We are still applying manual, and then we're still doing uh, videos on pathway to progress and prosperity. One of the benefits I've had coming to this place, this to farm, is that it gives me opportunity to reflect, to meditate. I've been able to produce more content coming here than being in the office. And it keeps me healthy, it keeps me happy. There's no horn here, no cars, no neighbors to disturb me. Where I sleep, my residence, there's a bar there that vibrates my roof. Another one is by the left. There's one across the road that wakes me very early in petrol station. And the church just opened behind me as I'm surrounded by noise. When I come here, I'm very close to nature and my brain works very well. After I did this last recording on building platforms, as I was applying manual, it occurred to me that I'm not a product of myself alone. Jehovah created me, teachers taught me. But when it comes to ministry, there are some people who gave me opportunities when I was not good enough. There were people who gave me opportunities when I didn't know much. There were people who gave me opportunities despite my faults. That was one thing I remember the Archbishop Benson in the house of he always identified talents and gave them opportunities and took them to places where they could manifest their gifts. What surprised me about my archbishop of blessed memory is that he had seen so much, exposed to very perfect, I mean great opportunity, opportunities and great performances, but he always valued local talents body talents and he will call them to be him he will take them to america then my bishop bc edo Hassan, who was my pastor before he became a bishop at the church of god mission 39 umola road Abba. he will give us opportunities to deliver talks opportunities to preach even though we're ordinary members or became deacons he gave me opportunity to become the men's fellowship leader. So I addressed men fellowships all over the country and gave me opportunities to speak to pastors when I was not a pastor. So I became uh, used to organizing ministers' conferences. And that's why we are where we are today. Let's start acting as ladders. Climb. Jesus told Nathaniel. You will see angels ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Let us become ziggurats. Ziggurats are steps you climb on a mountain to go and worship on top. So let's provide opportunities for the younger ones, opportunities for people. That's one thing I've done in the Word and Wisdom conferences where we bring people from all over, usually non-clergymen, to come and speak themselves a bigger audience. We need to provide platforms. Let's not be afraid of people being better than us. Let's not be afraid that when we introduce people, then they will block us. No. All the stars shine. Birds have enough spaces to fly. Let's create opportunities and celebrate people. When I speak to my younger ones, I say, sir. They will say, why are you? I'm your boy. You're not my boy. You're my friend. You're my partner. You are my future. In old age, it is you people that will take care of us. It is you that will be a source of joy. That's the problem with Africa. When people are in power, people are in business, they don't empower younger ones to grow alongside. Even to our own children, we grow without our children growing. But there is a problem with the younger ones. When opportunities are provided for you, don't mess up. Don't always go for money. Don't always ask for money. Don't always ask for empowerment in terms of cash, materials. No. Ask for ideas. Ask to, for methods. Ask to get meaning. Ask so that the, what you learn can make a mark in your life. I want to thank 
Archbishop B.C. Edo Hansen and my Archbishop that provided opportunities and a system where we could flourish. God bless you and bless you and bless you. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki.